Hi everyone, Sat here. I'm bringing you another AR Core tutorial. Well, actually, this is going to be a little bit different. This is an AR Core AR Kit and Unity tutorial, uh, except I won't be using AR Core or AR Kit. Uh, a bit strange, right? Um, well, there's a new thing come out by Unity in the 2018 edition where you don't really need to um, directly integrate AR Core or AR Kit. Instead, you use a new, um, the new AR Core, uh, so AR Foundations project and fa uh, Foundations code, and that allows you to use uh, an AR Core and AR Kit plugin. Um, and using that, you can develop for both of them with one set of code, which makes things a lot easier going forward. Uh, so, look, it's been a long time since I made a video. Um, I'm sorry about that. I've just been super busy, and I've actually kind of been waiting for, um, you know, for, for augmented reality, AR core, and and Unity to just um, settle down a little bit. They've been going through so many changes. Uh, every time I make something, it feels like it's outdated a month later. Uh, so I think that we've got to a point now where things have, have become quite steady now. Uh, so this is a good time for me to show you. Uh, something that we'll be using going forward for all our augmented reality projects. I believe that this will last for for at least a year anyway. Um, and there's a way to kind of update it within Unity as well, which is quite handy. And I'll I'll I'll, um, I'll show you that as well in this in this video. Um, so the other thing is. Uh, Thank you so much to everybody who's been liking the videos, leaving comments, and subscribing. Uh, I, you know, I, the only reason I'm, I'm I'm making this is because I um I saw the comments and I thought, wow, this is I can't believe you guys really like this video. The subscriber count went up to over 500, um, and I haven't made a video in about three months, but people have still been liking the video and leaving really lovely positive comments and it just made me think I, I gotta make another video for you guys so I'm gonna create a new series it's gonna involve and cover some of the past stuff that we did before with like the cat uh, except they won't use the cat it'll use something else I was thinking maybe like a, an, an RTS a strategy like a MOBA type game or I don't know if anyone's played like Active EV um, so maybe something like that but in augmented reality, uh, so I'll cover trial. Co I'll try and cover stuff like you know having user interface, multiple characters using multiple people at the same time, and of course because of this new project base foundation, this AR foundation that Uni have released, um, it means that the code that gets made will work for both AR Core and AR Kit as well, which is really really handy um so yeah thanks again for all the comments i appreciate that massively thanks for every, all the new subscribers please keep on you know hitting like leave the comments i read them all i try to get back to you all as well um and um look let's let's get on with the video and uh, it's just a basic one for now it's just showing you again just a really base foundation uh project but this is what I think I'll be using I think you know I recommend you use for every future project uh, augmented project augmented reality project that you use that you want to work for AR core or, or AR kit um, and hopefully I'll do a, next, a new video soon all right let's let's get started so the first thing we want to do is download AR foundation sample which is the new starting project that I'd recommend that you uh, begin pretty much every project with um, so there's instructions for installation. You can see here it says you need Unity 2018.1 or 2018.2. I've got 2018.2. Uh, anything from that point onwards should be okay. So I've downloaded that, and then I've gone back into my project, my Unity project, and I've hit open, and I'm going to select that one now and hit open. So now that that's opened, we can clearly see that the sample scene has begun. Uh, is there we've got um, our camera here it's your AR camera and we've got um, the AR session now I should say um, when I first opened this up uh, I didn't have can you see my game camera here you can clearly see um, the unity uh, the unity game world through my camera which you'd expect some of you might not have that which is what happened to me the first time 
I did that. And if that happens to you, um, I thought I'd just quickly tell you how to just get past that. It, um, what I did was I just, um, I removed this. Well, first of all, sorry, I, I copied the camera component like that. Um, I removed this AR camera background. Then I removed the camera again, component. So you, you kind of see this. Then I added the camera back again. Um, and then I added the uh, AR camera background back on here as well. And then I did uh, paste component values. And then that's when my camera was back and worked back to working again. I think there might have been a bug. Again, it might not affect everyone, but it affected me. So this is what you should see when you start your project and you know everything's working. Um, so I have you have the sample scene open here. Um, and in the sample scene, um, you have a bunch of things, AR Foundation, AR Core, AR Kit. So you'll notice that this will allow for both AR Core and AR Kit. Um, um, and it's pretty pretty straightforward. We can basically run this as is now, but I'm gonna go to build settings and I'm just gonna make sure a few things are correct. I'm gonna make sure it's on Android because that's what I wanna build on. So you have to make sure that you've switched to Android. Uh, I'm gonna go to player settings and this should have automatically, because we're downloading a, a, a project that's already been made for us, it should have already filled in a lot of this stuff for other settings. It should have switched, um, yep, it should have switched off multi-threaded rendering, which is correct. It should give us a package name, and we can change that. And if you're gonna make your own app, you should definitely change that. The minimum API, I would recommend going forward is having it as eight now, and they have that as eight, which is good. Um, and you'll notice something else is really important here, is usually AR call supported is on, and in this case, it's not on here. So make sure this is not ticked. If this is ticked, you're gonna have a problem. So make sure this is not ticked. That's perfect. This is what you're looking at here is exactly what you need to see. Um, and then we can we can basically build this. Um, but before I build that, let me just talk you through what's gonna happen here. So we've got some different looking stuff. So that, ah, so I removed the camera. Do you remember I removed the camera earlier on? The only other thing you have to do is pull the camera back into here, make sure this AR session origin has the camera. Um, okay, so you'll notice that um, in this we have a bunch of scripts, AR plane manager, AR point cloud, AR session origin, and place on plane. Now these three scripts we don't really want to manipulate, they are basically doing the stuff that, we, that, that normally happens behind the scenes. Um, the difference is that now, um, before, if you remember from our old code in AR Core, we had like a huge file and we had a huge update scene and we, we did kind of edited that. Now, um, there's a bit of a smaller one. This is place on plane. This is the code that they've given us and this is what we'll edit and adapt and change uh, going forward in, forwards in future tutorials. All this does is it, it's, um, is it creates a game, game object when you tap on the screen using the touch position it finds the uh, trackable po uh, plane um, and then it places that on the hit pose um, if it if it hasn't already been instantiated if it has already if it already exists it's not if it's not um, if it's not null then it will move that object around which is really simple and basic for what we've done a lot in, in, in the past in past projects. Um, so all that what that means is we're going to take a prefab which is the prefab here, this AR placed cube, which is this cube here in prefabs, and it's going to place that on different areas of the um, of the trackable plane. Um, and also so you'll notice now Uni 2018's got some some really cool features now. It's got something called packages here and every time you have um, um, up every time Unity updates something, say AR Core, uh, its relationship with AR Core and its relationship with AR Kit, you can update those packages separately in the packages 
um, window. So we have some built-in packages. We have all, so we have AR, this is what we have in our projects, which is the AR Foundation. If I click on AR Foundation, there's a new, uh, it looks like there's a new one, is it? Oh, okay, so my current one is Preview 1.14. There's actually a newer one. If I wanted to, I could hit Update and Update to that. I won't do that in this one, I'll probably do a new one. But that just means we can really update things quickly. Um, and these are plugins, so it actually has an X, AR Core plugin, and that's how it uses AR Core, and it has an AR Kit plugin as well. So you don't have to add AR Core to your project like we used to do anymore. You just have um, once you have AR Foundation, it kind of does a lot of that stuff for you. Um, but what I'm saying is the best thing to do is start off now going forwards with this default scene, the sample scene and build off of that. You can also duplicate that scene, which is what I'll also do in future tutorials, so you don't mess up that that that, fold, that folder, that project, and then build from there. All right, and <laughs> enough talking. Let me build this and show you what, uh, what you'll be looking at. So same as before, build and run. Okay, so we can see that it's found the floor and if I tap on the floor it places a cube and if I hold my finger on the screen drag around it keeps on placing keeps on moving the position of the cube based on where my thumb is um, hitting the trackable plane and you notice the cubes a bit jittery because there's no lerping or slurping it's a very simple code but it looks nice right and you can see if I try to um, right now I'm actually trying to take my thumb off of the trackable space and it's not going off because um, there's no there's no hit hit occurring um, so the cube just stays on the trackable plane. All right, I hope you enjoyed that.